awakening is running health recoveries 100% cure for depression insomnia asthma fatigue chronic pain insecurity panic attacks and other major disorders awaken the kundalini shakti the dormant energy within what would you do if you had 1300% more energy disease free mind and body is your first wealth claim it at inner awakening inner awakening a 21 day meditation retreat with rare living incarnation paramahamsa nityananda nityananda dhyana pita nityananda nagar biridhi bengaluru karnataka contact 0802727 Double nine, double nine. Email i a at nityananda dot o r g. Nityananda Shwara Samarambam. Nityananda Shwari Madhyamam. Asmada Charya Parayantam. वंदे गुरु परंपरा इस समय हमारे साथ उपस्थित सभी दर्शकों और भक्तों का मैं प्रेम एवं आशीर्वाद सहित स्वागत करता हूँ आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू विथ माई लव एंड ब्लेसिंग्स टूडे नित्य सत्संग सब्जेक्ट विल बी द कंटिन्यूटी on completion yesterday we had a maheshwara puja nashram and then a sangha meeting i am going to give the essence of that only today as a satsang And actually, I tell you. Now I am so happy that my ashram is meeting. When my sannyasis sit together, they speak such rich things. Actually, yesterday during the discussion, I could see everyone is so logical when they question others. and when they enrich others they are so logical and so clear so alive so aware so conscious when the same problem comes to them the same words does not work for them no this is inauthenticity understand humanity suffers with this only one disease please listen please come to the space of listening i am throwing some of the very important sacred secrets humanity suffers only with one disease wrong association dussanga why you are able to enrich others one of my sanyasini commented the exact words which does not work for me i am throwing it on others it works for them the exact advice which i gave it to myself when i was in problem did not work for me when i give that word to others it works for them why please understand the wrong association of associating with your powerlessness and feeling that is you is the biggest suffering please listen 
instead of you associating with you, you associate with your powerlessness, then no teaching works. No words work. You are on the wrong side. You are on the wrong side. When you are on the wrong side, nothing will work. Nothing will work. Nothing will work. Mullah Nasruddin goes to a man and says, give me some money. The man asked why. He said, I am going to buy an elephant. This guy said, if you have no money to buy elephant, you can't afford to keep an elephant, maintain elephant. That guy immediately says, I came here to get money, not advice. Understand, no advice will work on you as long as you associate yourself with your powerlessness. Listen. Whole humanity suffers with this one disease of powerlessness. Listen intently. The next, next. These are the very important things. When you give the same words as advice to others, when you enrich others, you are not associating yourself with their powerlessness. That is why you are able to handle it so beautifully properly but when you are enriching yourself you associate yourself with your powerlessness that is why you miss it that is why you miss it why the same words which does not work for you works for others because when you utter those words, you do not associate yourself with their powerlessness. You have already created a distance. So, you will have the conscious clarity. You are not in Dusanga. wrong association you are not in wrong association but when the same problem is for you, happening for you you associate with that powerlessness that is why the same words does not help you please listen I tell you, even if you think those words are not working for you, enrich others with those words, you will see, first, it may not work for you, enrich others, it will work for them, that itself will give you the strength and next time when you use the same word, you will create a distance between you and your powerlessness. You and your powerlessness. Please understand, you can't afford to celebrate your cute powerlessness. Unfortunately, you think, wow, what is this? So many years, so much of sacrifice I did. I was always powerful. Can't I afford to be just powerless for a few hours? No. You can't say, 100 years I lived, can't I afford to die just for 10 minutes? No. 
you can't you can't don't be child childish i tell you when you associate yourself with your powerlessness your whole life is useless even if you die for few minutes your whole life is over it's over your history will be rewritten constantly based on your victory or failure please listen your history will be constantly rewritten based on your victory or failure your history is not stagnant your history is not the actions you did but the context you carry now the context you carry now if you are successful for example the second world war if the hitler has won the whole history would have been different in india if subhash chandra bose was alive the whole history would have been different i tell you very clearly from the akashic records it is subhash chandra bose and balagangadhar nath the tilak balagangadhar tilak they are responsible for the freedom of the country it is they who made british shiver if they were alive it would have been different so the context you carry please listen i am throwing unconnected different ideas listen intensely In the end i am going to connect everything and make you understand the ultimate truth first the words the advice the teachings with which you are not able to enrich you you are able to enrich others how why because you don't associate with others powerlessness your words works for them you associate you are self with your powerlessness that is why the same words does not work for you so the first thing you need to do is disconnect disassociate create a distance between you and your powerlessness don't celebrate your powerlessness don't try to hide it from others
clean your living space and throw all the dash dash out don't try to hide it inside your bedroom so that others can't smell <laughs> others don't know if you are hiding it in your bedroom to keep it away from others who is going to suffer you are going to be suffering all the fellows who hide their powerlessness from others to save themselves and keep that powerlessness deep inside you are the people who keep all the dash dash away from others and keep it in their bedroom maybe just under the pillow wow <laughs> the space you operate from when you work with others is different from the space you operate from when you work with yourself so the whole difference is when you work with yourself you associate yourself with that powerlessness tussanga when you work with others you keep distance from the powerlessness you are associating yourself with the powerfulness satsanga whether you are in satsanga or dussanga that's all don't this is the first idea i am conveying first truth i am conveying second don't celebrate your powerlessness nobody is ready to listen or accept entertain your powerlessness your powerlessness cannot be cutified justified and nobody is interested in it either you throw your powerlessness out our people will throw you also along with your powerlessness out either you throw your powerlessness out or people will throw <laughs> along with the, your powerlessness you also out nobody is ready to listen to your cutified powerless stories you say no why i sacrifice so much i did this 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 can't i afford to be powerless for few minutes no no your brave childhood histories cannot be the reason for you to be powerless now one guy was bragging about his brave childhood history see listen to my childhood history everybody was curious please tell us tell us i kicked lion's face i pulled tiger's tail i broke cheetah's leg i threw elephants then then what happened then the toy shop owner kicked me out this is all your childhood history this is all is your history understand <laughs> nobody is ready to listen your stories of you kicking the lion's face pulling the tiger's tail broke the cheetah's leg true elephants no do not entertain powerlessness by justifying it or cutifying it it's a new word 
I have created cutifying it. Don't, don't justify or cutify your powerlessness. Next, I wanted to tell you a very important truth. Please listen. Even if some great truths are not working for you, don't stop enriching others with it because when you learn to see when you enrich others with the truth you learn you operate from the right space then you will learn the process of how to operate from the right space then the same truth will start working for you because you learnt to operate from the right space and I wanted to reveal a very important truth, a very important, shocking revelation to all of you. All my satsangs are the words which did not work for me 10 years, 10 janma before. Listen. All my satsangs, all the words with which I am enriching all you guys, are the ideas, truths, which did not work for me ten janma before. Then I learnt how to operate from the right context, how not to associate with the powerlessness. Then it started working for me. That's all. That's all. When you spend more and more time in the space of completion, you are becoming matured soul. When you spend more and more time in incompletion, you become immature soul. Listen. When you spend more and more time, when you spend more and more time in the space of completion, you become mature soul. When you spend more and more time in powerlessness and incompletion, you become immature. I tell you, when you spend time in incompletion, no one can expect you will stoop so low. Sometimes my disciples are surprised. Swamiji, how can the ex-devotees who lived around you for years can stoop so low? Please understand, when you entertain powerlessness, associate yourself with the powerlessness, powerlessness is so powerful in destroying you. Powerlessness is worse than alcohol and poison. Poison destroys your physiology. Alcohol destroys your psychology. Powerlessness can destroy both your physiology and psychology, both. Poison destroys your physiology. Alcohol destroys your psychology. Powerlessness can destroy your physiology and psychology, both. Alcohol also destroys your physiology, but in slowly, gradually. It destroys your psychology first. It makes you imbalance immediately. Powerlessness can destroy both. When you are constantly entertaining powerlessness inside, 
without doing completion even you can't expect you will stoop so low if you entertain powerfulness if you complete same way the completion will raise you so quickly please understand i never expected i'll achieve the enlightenment experience so soon when i was 21 i was clearly planning i will live in himalayas till i get enlightened i was expecting that i may be alive for 90 95 years because raghupati yogi prepared my body and he has always told me he has told me that you will live a quite a long time because i have prepared your body and i also know how he prepared my body and see the longevity is just nothing but the length of your breath your longevity is dependent only on the length of your breath and raghupati yogi has aligned my breathing length very properly and beautifully with a proper yogic training so and he made me believe and i also always believed i will live quite a long time and i was planning maybe some 95 1995 years i will live in himalayas either i will get enlightened before death or during the death i will become enlightened whether i become enlightened or not i will live for the enlightenment and die i never ever thought or felt i'll become enlightened i tell you just just a simple decision to be in the completion as opened such ultimate experience in me please understand even few minutes if you decide to be in incompletion it can put you in a space you will stoop so low all the janmas of spiritual achievement will be destroyed and same way even if you decide to be in the space of completion and powerfulness for few minutes it can open up new consciousness for you the powerfulness and powerlessness completion and incompletion does not work logically it work miraculously when you allow incompletion you can't say oh i allowed incompletion only for 3 minutes how can my 30 years of spiritual practice be destroyed that is the way life is you can't say only one drop poison how can the one liter milk can be become poison same way one minute deciding to be complete in the space of completion your janmas of sins will be washed away you can't say what is this unfair this fellow only one minute he was in the completion space how can all his sins be washed out and he can become a saint see arunagiri nadar a great saint from திருவண்ணாமலை அண்ட் சி பட்டினத்தார் சி வால்மீகி வாட் இஸ் வால்மீகிஸ் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஹி ஜஸ்ட் டிசைடட் ஃபார் அ மொமெண்ட் ஹி வில் பி 
disassociating with all the incompletions, all the powerless space. And the Angulimala, just a moment, it decided, I'll be dropping my powerlessness. So the science of completion, please understand how completion and incompletion works, how powerfulness and powerlessness works, how the space of Satsanga and Nitsanga works. And I wanted to remind all of you all the words with which I am enriching you guys did not work for me ten janma before. But I did not stop. I continued to create right context. Work with it, work with it, work with it. Now, of course, few janma before itself, it started working for me and naturally working for others. Continue to enrich others. Continue to enrich others. Continue to help everyone to find their root pattern and complete. I tell you, especially with this context of the science of root pattern completion, any philosophy I study, whether it is Shaivism, Vaishnavism, any philosophy I study, I see the essence is this science of completion, Puranatva. I really wanted, with this context of making spiritual philosophies user friendly, Spiritual philosophy is user friendly. Please listen. Making this spiritual philosophy is user friendly, we should create universities. Oh Veda Mata, I commit with you, with my integrity, authenticity, responsibility, and enriching. I'll establish universities for Advaita, Kashmiri Saivism, Saiva Siddhanta of Tamil Nadu, Lagulisas, Shaivism, and Vaishnavism, Dvaita and Visishta Advaita philosophies of Ramanuja and Madhva, surely, because all these philosophies should be made user-friendly, directly useful from the context of completion and the science of completion. I was feeling really at least some 20 universities should be established. University of Saiva Siddhanta in Madurai and Kashmiri Saivism in Delhi because in Kashmir now you cannot run. It is no more place where Hindus can live 
at least in Delhi, University for Kashmiri Saivism and in Baroda, University for Lagulishas Shaivism and Bidhi will have University for Basavannas Shaivism, Lingayat Saivism and my contribution. We should have a university for Vaishnavism either in Melkot or in Srirangam. At least 20 universities for each of those philosophies with the context of user-friendly making it user friendly please understand that should be the context with the context of making it user friendly just through few visuals and powerpoint presentations these principles and philosophies can be beautifully presented It should be continue, continuously published. University for Nyaya, Sankhya, Vaiseshika, Advaita should be established in Ardwar. University for Shakta, in Kamakya, I'll do it. I commit with Veda Mata. That's the only way. This is the only way. We can awaken the world. Humanity can understand the science of completion and live blissful life. Humanity can create the right context and right space and powerfulness, matured souls. To live. I'll give you the essence in Hindi. Manavta is ek rog se pedit hai dus sanga. Kyo ap jo samadhan dusro ko dete hai ho swayam ke liye kyo nahi kaam karte hai ap swayam ko saath na dekar apni shakti hinta ka saath dete hai ap dus sanga mein hai dhyan se suniye जब आप जो शब्द दूसरों को समाधान स्वरूप देते हैं आप उनकी शक्तिहीनता के साथ अपना संबंध नहीं जोड़ते हैं इसीलिए आपको सचेत स्पष्टता है किंतु जब वही शब्द आप स्वयं की संशयावों का समाधान पाने के लिए उपयोग करते हैं आप अपनी शक्तिहीनता के साथ अपना संबंध जोड़ते हैं इसीलिए आप चेत बन जाते हैं बन इसीलिए आप अचेत बन जाते हैं और समाधान आपके लिए काम नहीं करते हैं ध्यान से सुनिए दूसरों को लाभान्वित करते जाइए लगातार जब आप देखेंगे कि वही आध्यात्मिक समाधान उनके लिए काम कर रहे हैं आप देखेंगे कि आपको स्वयं की समस्याओं के लिए भी यह समाधान काम करते हैं जब आप दूसरों को आध्यात्मिक समाधान देते हैं 
आप सही अंतर आकाश में है बार बार जब आप सही अंतर आकाश में है आप और अधिक समय पूर्णत्व की स्थिति में है आप परिपक्व बनते हैं फिर आप देखेंगे कि वो सही अंतर आकाश आपकी समस्या का समाधान भी देता है क्योंकि आप सही अंतर आकाश का उपयोग करना सीख लेंगे सीख लेंगे पहले आपको स्वयं और शक्तिहीनता के बीच अंतर लाइए शक्तिहीनता को आपने भीतर छुपाने का प्रयत्न ना कीजिए और ना ही शक्तिहीनता का उत्सव ना मनाइए ये स्पष्ट रूप से जानिए आपकी शक्तिहीनता में किसी को भी रुचि नहीं है अपनी शक्तिहीनता को प्रोत्साहित ना कीजिए शक्तिहीनता शारीरिक और मानसिक दोनों स्तर पर आपका विनाश करता है समस्या यह है कि जिस अंतर आकाश के साथ आप दूसरों से काम करते हैं वो स्वयं के साथ काम करते समय के अंतर आकाश से भिन्न है ध्यान से सुनिए यदि आप पूर्णत्व की स्थिति में कुछ क्षणों में रहेंगे आप एक भिन्न नई चेतना का अनुभव करेंगे उसी तरह अपूर्णता की स्थिति में कुछ क्षणों में रहे रहने से वर्षों की आपकी तपस्या आपका आध्यात्मिक विकास का कुछ क्षणों में विनाश हो सकता है लगातार दूसरों को लाभान्वित करते जाइए सभी को अपने मूल विचारधारा से पूर्णत्व लाने में सहायता कीजिए मैं वेदा वेद माता को वचन देता हूँ सभी आध्यात्मिक सिद्धांतों को लोगों को आसानी से सीखने हेतु में विश्वविद्यालयों को निर्माण करूंगा कम से कम बीस विश्वविद्यालय का निर्माण होना चाहिए जैसे मदुरई में शैव सिद्धांत के लिए दिल्ली में कश्मीरी शैविसम के लिए बरोडो बरोडा में लकुलीस जी के शैव संप्रदाय के लिए बिडी में बसवन्ना जी के लिंगायत शैव संप्रदाय के लिए और मेरे सिद्धांतों के लिए मेलकोट में या श्रीरंगम में वैष्णव संप्रदाय के लिए हरिद्वार में न्याय सांख्य वैशेष का अद्वैत संप्रदायों के लिए कामाख्या में शक्त संप्रदाय के लिए लोगों को मगत्व रूप से पूर्णत्व का विज्ञान दिया जाना चाहिए अंडरस्टैंड द एसेंस ऑफ टुडे सत्संग द स्पेस ऑफ कंप्लीशन और इनकम्प्लीशन डज नॉट वर्क आरिजॉन्टली लॉजिकली it works vertically if you are in the space of incompletion you fall vertically down if you are in the space of completion you fly vertically up the travel with completion or incompletion is not horizontal it is vertical either you fall vertically down or you fly vertically up your idea of horizontal travel is wrong see arunagiri arunagiri nath a saint lived in tiruvannamalai till the age of 30 he was a drunkard womanizer and what not one moment he decided to be complete the space of completion the whole shift he became saint patinatar one moment he decided to be complete and he became saint valmiki one moment decided to be complete became saint tulsi tulsi das himself one moment decided to be in the space of completion 
became saint. Same way, there are millions of stories where people decided to be in completion only for a moment and became sinners. I can say, I can give you the big list. Ridayaram Chattopadhyaya in Ramakrishna's story served Ramakrishna so sincerely for almost 20 years. Only one moment he decided to be in the space of incompletion due to his anger and collapsed. Disappeared from Ramakrishna's life with a big curse from Ramakrishna and became a worst sinner. The way he died, the way he suffered in depression, unimaginable. One Perumal Swami in Ramak Ramana Maharishi's life served Ramana Maharishi so much, just decided to be in the space of incompletion for a moment, vertically fell down. And Sheila in Osho's life. In my life, you know many names. One moment of incompletion, you can vertically fall down. One moment of completion, you can vertically fly up. Because completion or incompletion does not work logically in a horizontal way, it does in a vertical way. आज के सत्संग का सार है पूर्णत्व या अपूर्णत्व तार्किक नहीं है ये ऊर्ध्वधार सत्य है जब आप अपूर्ण है एक क्षण में आप सीधे नीचे गिर जा सकते हैं जब आप पूर्ण है एक क्षण में आप सीधे ऊपर उदान पर सकते हैं बार सकते हैं उदान बर सकते हैं अब हम नित्य सत्संग के अगले भाग निराहार संयमा में प्रवेश करेंगे सीधी तरह से बैठ जाइए और चेतना स्थिति के साथ कल्पना कीजिए कि आप बिड़ती वट वृक्ष बन गए हैं इस कल्पना के साथ आप अपने दोनों नासिकाओं के नासिकाओं और मुंह के द्वारा सांस अंदर लीजिए जितनी देर सांस को आप अपने अंदर बांध कर रख सकते हैं उतनी देर आप अपने अंदर सांस को बांध कर बांध कर रही जब आप सांस को और बांध कर नहीं रख पा रहे हैं तब आप अपने मुख बंद रखे सांस को रख के सांस को अपनी दोनों नासिका वो द्वारा धीरे से छोड़ दीजिए आप में अपनी पूरे संपूर्ति श्रद्धा उत्तरदायित्व और लाभान्वित करने के चार तत्वों के साथ आशीर्वाद देता हूँ कि आप सबकी कुंडलिनी शक्ति जागृत हो जाए और सब अपनी जीव ऊर्जा को सीधे आकाश सीधे आकाश और वायु से उत्पन्न करे अब क्रिया आरंभ कीजिए और इस क्रिया को लगातार 21 मिनट तक कीजिए विद दिस अलमोट द निराहार समय मा प्लीज सिट स्ट्रेट क्लोज योर आईज कागनाइस यो बिकम बिड़दी कल्प वृक्षा with this, inhale through both the nostrils and mouth simultaneously, hold as long as you can, exhale only through both the nostrils as slowly as possible, do this for next 21 minutes with my integrity, authenticity, responsibility and enriching, I bless you all, let you all experience Kundalini awakening and live health, bliss and enlightenment by producing the energy directly from space. Namah Shivaya. Inner Awakening is running health recoveries. 100% cure for depression, insomnia, asthma, fatigue, chronic pain, insecurity, panic attacks 
and other major disorders awaken the kundalini shakti the dormant energy within what would you do if you had 1300 percent more energy disease free mind and body is your first wealth claim it at inner awakening inner awakening a 21-day meditation retreat with rare living incarnation Paramahamsa Nityananda Nityananda Dhyana Pita Nityananda Nagar Biridi Bengaluru Karnataka Contact 0802-727-9999 Email ia at nityananda.org Let you all achieve, experience, live Express, radiate, share and explode in eternal bliss. Nityananda. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Phone 0802727999. www.nityananda.org. www.youtube.com slash lifeblissfoundation.